how far back does the history of creationism as a science go? It seems to be a relatively new phenomenon. Creation science got started back in the 1960s. It was a movement in response to evolution coming back into textbooks and into the high school curriculum after evolution had been pretty much uh, abandoned as a topic in, in instruction from after the Scopes trial, really, after in the approximately the 1930s. And uh, since, for a variety of reasons, evolution was coming back into the curriculum, conservative Christians were very upset about this um, because they believe that if children learn evolution, they will become atheists. And if they become atheists, then that's a really very, very bad thing. Um, it means that, in their view, they will not have any kind of moral or, or spiritual guidance, and so they will be bad people. They'll, they'll lie and cheat and steal and worse and so forth. Um, they also believe that if you don't believe in God, you're lost to salvation. So, you know, for conservative Christians, this is a very important thing, and there's a very high motivation to, to try to keep evolution out of the schools. Well, for a variety of reasons, uh, again, having to do with the legal system in the United States, um, it was not possible to ban evolution. So creation science was pretty much invented to sort of ameliorate it. If you have to teach evolution, we'll at least teach creation science to balance it out. And creation science was the idea of taking the Christian doctrine of special creation, that, that God created everything pretty much in its present form as we see it today, specially, you know. It, it, is not accept, it, it is not compatible with evolution. There are many religious views that are, but special creation is not compatible with evolution. It's the, it's the exact opposite. Evolution has uh, living things diversifying, developing through time, having common ancestors, um, sort of like a tree. The tree is the common uh, metaphor for evolution. Well, special creation is a lawn. Each little blade of grass is a separate creation by God. And they don't come together in, in common ancestry, so that, that's completely uh, unacceptable to uh, um, uh, evolution and, and special creation are, are, are unacceptable, are, are uh, unable to be matched. Um, so creation science was invented as a way of trying to get that special creationist view into the schools, but the way they had to do it was claim that there was scientific validity to this view. Now, of course, it's really hard to find scientific evidence that everything appeared in its present form as we see it. I mean, there just isn't scientific evidence for that. So the main thrust of the movement was trying to disprove evolution because in their, they have this very dichotomous view that there's either evolution or there's special creation. So if you can just disprove evolution, special creation wins by default. And it was a very interesting movement that thrived in the 1970s and 80s, and actually is still extant today. If you go to the internet, uh, you can find scads of websites devoted to creation science. Just Google creation science and you'll get you know, tens of thousands of sites. Lots of videos too. And where does it stand now? We have this impression from the science community that this seems to be very much on the rise, but I'm, I'm not sure if that's the case. It seems to have plateaued somewhat. Well, creation science actually is expanding. Um, it began as a movement from a man named Henry Morris, who founded uh, the California-based Institute for Creation Research. And uh, most of all of the uh, young earth creation science that we see today is really a function of Henry Morris's writings and, and inspiration. But the movement has spread. Um, the Institute for Creation Research, now in Dallas, Texas, is uh, a very esteemed and, and um, uh, honored organization in this movement. But now there's, a, uh, for the last 10, 15 years or so, there's Answers in Genesis up in Kentucky, which opened a $15 million, or $21 million museum um, open to the public, presenting young earth creationism. Uh, you know, humans and dinosaurs were created at the same time, so they played together. And, you know, <laughs> so all of these ideas that supposedly are supported by science uh, in the creation science movement uh, are very widely spread within the general public, which yeah. is, I think, part of the reason why we have so much uh, rejection of evolution.